what up motherfuckers, I'm Bada here. I'm in nature again. Once again, I'm in nature. And I just wanna talk about, talk about people, the governments. I wanna explain to you how these motherfuckers are destroying society as it is. The reset is coming and no one will prepare for it. No one. I don't give a fuck if you're on this stupid self-improvement journey, you will not prepare for this reset. Because once this reset happens, it will shock everyone. <coughs> it will shock everyone. Unless you're living in some fucking suburban African village or some Samoan village and you have no internet. And so so you're not trapped into this, into this matrix bullshit, this government bullshit. You're not trapped and you're not imprisoned by the government. Uh, uh, other than that... You're trapped and the reset will fucking happen I will get your ass until you fucking die bro It will destroy you oh. Yeah, what I'm saying? So before this video starts don't forget to like, subscribe and share Don't forget to join my Discord server linked in the description and in my about page I'm gonna talk about how the government How the government uh, Is slowly accepting and how society The LGBTQ these Z Y X Y Z pronoun dickheads, fucking blue haired, dyed dyed hair crackheads, are accepting pedophiles, murderers, and rapists. I just want to inform you that when once those type of fuckery, those type of fucked up people are, are those type of fucked up people are get, well, well, once they get accepted into into the, into society, into the LGBTQ, because it's slowly it's slowly happening. It's slowly happening, and once they will get accepted, that clearly shows that this war is completely finished, and we can't do nothing about it. We have to get, we physically have to get the fuck out of the matrix. Because if we do not get out of the matrix, we are a part of it, and we're gonna be fucked. Your children will not be safe. No, no, your siblings will not be safe. You have to protect them double time, bro. You gotta protect them ass double time, bro. So, bro, and these parents as well, bro. Like, uncle, whoa. whoa. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going, bro? Where you going? Come here, bro. Where you going? Where you going, bro? Where are that school ass bitch? Where the fuck? Where the fuck did you go? Bitch. Damn, bro. That shit quick, anyways. You parents have to fucking check on them. Because nowadays, parents are not checking on them, bro. They're not checking on the kids' phone. They're not doing anything. And you don't know what the kid's doing. I'm seeing 12 year old kids hanging around at night. Nigga, what the fuck are you doing at night, nigga? Two o'clock at night, nigga. Three o'clock at night, nigga. Twelve years old as well. What the fuck? Bro? Do you want to get raped by a fucking a fucking African uncle? Bro? Do you want to get raped by an African uncle? Is that what you want? Because if that's because if that you want if that was if that what you want, bro, I got links. I can't lie, I got links. But anyways, you African parents have to check on them, bro. Because if you don't check on them, then. The fucking these fucking what you call it these rapists these pedophiles once they get accepted they can take advantage of you of your children they will grab them or they will just do whatever they want with them and they will blame mental health that's how they're getting accepted that's how they're getting accepted they're getting accepted because of because they're because of mental health issues mental health issues and what you call it oh because they were born of it explain to me this bullshit how the fuck can you born be how, can you, how the fuck can you be born gay how the fuck can you be born uh what you call it um a rapist, a murderer, a pedophile. Explain to me that, because logically that don't make sense. Understand that it don't make sense logically. That's just a stupid excuse for these fucked up people to do what they want with the to do what they want with the with these younger children. That's what they're trying to do. Do what they want. Do do what they want with these innocent females. It's truly disgusting, bro. It is actually disgusting. And you parents, you parents gotta watch out, bro. You parents gotta watch out, because if you don't step your game, if you don't. If you don't fucking do security measure, protection, one on one, bro. If you don't do that on your kids, bro, your kids are gonna get raped. Bro, once one of your kids get groomed and you go into the court trying to like trying to get this fuckery in prison, I get this fucked up person in prison, I get this rapist or this pedophile in prison or rapist because he groomed her, like this rapist in prison. You know what I'm saying? The court will probably not accept it because he was born like that. They would just probably send him into the mental mental health hospital, and no push, punch punch will be given. Want well, know why? Because they, because he has he was born like that, has mental health issues, depressed. So it is what it is. He won't get arrested. That's what I'm saying with a few parents. You gotta wake up. Because what? Because if you parents, if you dumbass motherfucking parents don't wake up, soon enough, your kids will be on the rape list, my nigga. Your kids will be grieving, they will be traumatized because your dumbass did not do enough to protect them.
<sighs> it's truly fucking sad, bro. We, bro, we live in a world of just NPCs and just people just being robots. They don't want to live in nature like this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Remember 10 years ago? When there was one, one, one of these huge park fields where it was like packed of people, fully packed. Fully packed of uh, families, having fun. You know, being with nature, these kids being with nature, healthy. Now, these parents give them iPads. They don't, they don't even give, they don't even let them go out and they don't, these parents don't even want to go out in nature with them because they just straight away give them an iPad at two years old and all of a sudden, and straight away they get brainwashed by the system, by the government, by the matrix. I'm sorry, but what are you doing? What the fuck are you actually doing, bro? What you're doing there is just completely entrapping the kid uh, at this, at this fucked up internet because, bro, you can literally, you can, bro, you can literally, uh, Go out and find porn so easily. You can literally find anything, anything, go, anything you want so easily. And you're gonna give your two year old child an iPad and he has the opportunity to find anything to probably stumble on an ad and click it and boom. He's fucked, he's trapped and he's addicted to porn for his, for, almost, for, for I don't know how long. You're gonna let, you're gonna let, you're gonna, you're gonna let your kid do that. Because if that's the case, then you're a fucked up parent, you're a dickhead parent. You gotta wake up, bro. Any future parent, you gotta wake up. Because the research happening, pedos, rapists, and uh, murders will get slowly get accepted in ten years' time, and you can't do anything about it. You gotta get, you gotta fucking wake up. You gotta be careful, and you gotta think. Do you really wanna have kids? Because if that's the case, you gotta be dumb. You gotta be, you gotta be a fucking warrior, bro. You gotta be double protection on the ass, bro. Because if you don't do that, <laughs> your kid gonna get traumatized. But anyways, that's my opinion on this weird fucking fucked up world that we live in right now don't forget to like subscribe and share don't forget to join my discord server link in the description and in my page in my bio page don't forget to keep the little bell button so you don't miss any new uploads but yeah i'm not out here so i'll see you in the next video bye goofies